Pass to Middleton. Shoot it. Now here's Middleton. Fades and shoots. The offensive rebound. Giannis dunks it down. And Giannis just playing right now with a very highly revved motor. LeBron good. Well, we expect to see Sparks flying down in the paint tonight. Greg, a couple of very talented centers matching up head-to-head -head in this one. But with the way the game is played today, you know, we could see them battling at the arc. Modern bigs make their presence felt now all over the floor. James. To the inside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first. Hard to ball. believe, Greg, last season, LeBron missing the playoffs for just the third time in his career. And, Kevin, it, it almost felt surreal to not have him in the playoffs. I mean, this guy's been a fixture in the postseason for almost two decades now. Just another bullet on LeBron's incredible resume. Now, here's Portis. Here's Holiday. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Davis. We appreciate Drew Holiday getting shifty there on the inside to draw the contact. And something you have to remember about Drew Holiday, he, he was a key player in helping the Bucks win their historic title in 2021. Uh, he was unbelievable in that entire postseason. Started every game, averaged 17 points, was going to take on the, the toughest guard uh, opposing player and uh, accept that challenge for every series and took them to the title. Now here's Portis. And the shot goes in. The assist from Getting inside and letting Portis do his work. He attacked the bucket that time. And to Takumbo. And he banks in the layup. On to Takumbo's. Got his second bucket of the game to go. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up. Think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. The assist from. In a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for Milwaukee. They're really mucking things up for the opposition. Racking up steal after steal. Just not letting them develop any kind of offensive rhythm. Back to Middleton. Pocket six. On to Takumbo with the bucket. Giannis has got six. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Hey, Kevin. Hey, I talked to the Lakers head coach. He told me they have to lean on their post game tonight. He wants them to get the ball into the block each time down the floor and pound those guys inside. Sounds like this could be a real physical battle, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. And this Lakers squad has a ton of talent. But some guys are well past their prime. Now, here's Portis. Middleton on the wing. Giannis high post. Oh, and out of the Kumbo. Hammers it in. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. And what do you think 
GA is the next step for this Lakers team. Coming off a championship not that long ago, young firepower is surely needed. These older guys can't carry a team like they used to. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. It's stolen by Davis. Pass to James. Here's Hachimura. That three off the mark. 20 seconds left to play here in the first. Back to Holiday. Here's Middleton. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. So many teams out there are trying to find their next Chris Middleton. This is a guy that works hard, always ready to drop a shot or play defense. Such so a switchblade at that wing position. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defense. What a jam! Wow, fans loving that right there. What a jam! Nice. And so it's Milwaukee holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. We're feeling very confident shooting the ball. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And for the Bucks here, they've been putting a show on, guys. Just they've gotten to the line with tremendous consistency here through the first period. Such a great way to silence hostile fans who want the up and down pace that gets them amped up. Instead, everyone's just standing around watching the free throw game. Inside. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Vanderbilt's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for the Lakers. Allen outside. Pass to Lopez. From down in the low post, it goes. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Davis. Scoring his third straight basket in three tries. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course, one of the league's storied franchises. And Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time collection of players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Orvey. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> He's got a point, David, and we thank you for your report. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but look like plenty of room. Brent, when we talk about the evolution of basketball, Brook Lopez is a great example. Well, this is one of the more head-scratching, remarkable, complimentary things that you could say about Brook Lopez. The fact that he did not make a three-pointer for his seventh season in the NBA, but added that long range to his game to become a stretch five and a valuable piece to the Bucks' 2021 title run. What an amazing career arc for one Brook Lopez. Timeout called the Bucks. 
Hey, Brent, you look at the Bucks' recent success. Great coaching has got to be a big part of it. Yeah, and if you ask Coach Bud, a great Giannis Antetokounmpo is something that's a big part of it, too. So expected to win. This team is hungry to get back and compete at the highest level. Coach gets overlooked at times, but Coach Bodenholzer has done a great job with this Milwaukee Bucks team. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. Uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Here's James. Here's Hachimura. Chris Middleton can guard multiple positions out there, and his defensive effort, solid on that play. And that one's good from Connaughton. And Matador defense. That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the deep thinking jump shot, gave a little pump fake, and then off to the races. Fades away and sinks the tough shot. And the Bucks leap by 11. Just incredible the way that Brooke Lopez has changed his game to the outside. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. And a look at the, the basket guy still shaking. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. One fifty-two left to play in the first half. A steal. Pass to Reed. And they go to the intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Second team. To the left wing. LeBron with it. Seven points in the game. Shot clock at six. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Jake Crowder. I like watching AD going at the defense and trying to impose some of that physicality from him to them. Milwaukee making a switch here. Here's Crowder. Let's go. Great D that time from Davis. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And that one's good, Hachimura. Rui working on that hand speed, excellent. The kick out to Lopez. And nothing is falling for him right now. Lakers trail by four. Things really clicking for him at the offensive end. They're making good decisions, not wasting these opportunities. Timeout called the Bucks. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Kicks it out to Allen. Onto Takumbo looking it over. It's good. Portis has got six points. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. James, left side. Pass to Reeves. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Reeves has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. It's Allen on the wing. Middleton outside. Giannis outside. Four seconds left. Just three on the clock. 
And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Bucks ahead. They're up by three. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Back to Davis. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Just excellent recognition by Anthony Davis to sell the shot fake. Gets the defense up in the air. And with the struggles AD has had to stay healthy, and you wonder, though, if the team's going to focus on having him be at his best for that postseason run and try to manage the wear and tear. And they double up Davis. Pass to Reeves. Over Allen. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That's foul number two for him. Second personal foul. Second team. So it's the Lakers now. It's a one-point game. Here's Reeves. Six on the shot clock. Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. Just beating the defense to the glass and putting it right back up. AD, a powerhouse inside. And when Davis is on the floor, Greg, he is a force. But how do you keep him healthy into the playoffs? That is the question. I mean, sustaining his output over a full season isn't easy. But Davis has had a bit of bad luck with the injury. So you have to mitigate ways to keep him available. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Yeah, you look, you'd like to take the lead on that possession, but he, at least he was able to tie the game up. And stolen by James. And James throws it down hard. And what an explosive finisher LeBron is, rocking the rim whenever he goes up like that. Allen outside to the paint. Davis with some nice D. The Lakers in the lead. Lakers passing it around. And a wide open look for Hachimura. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Yeah, and this is a tough one to figure out because Rui hitting the three makes him really difficult to check. Love his shot selection. Good at taking quality shots. Whether he's defended or open, he knows how to knock those down. Taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt. And, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer. And if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find it. Timeout call the Bucks. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Back to James. Six to shoot. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Reeves can't hit. Bucks trail by seven. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Giannis has got five points in the quarter. Feeling more and more comfortable in this offense. That's just Chris Middleton making a play. Well, him dominating the offensive end is what accounts for this lead. Just a very difficult guy to stop once he gets going. A nice shot there by Antetokounmpo. 
Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Out to the right wing. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That's his third foul of the game. His third personal foul. Third team foul. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. To the wing right side. Pass to Reeves. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Reeves has got the lead up to eight now for the Lakers. And when Anthony Davis sees that one of his guys is open because of the pressure the defense puts on him, he'll make the play. And Holiday has it in the corner. Middleton trying to break free. The shot by Holiday, no good. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. See how skilled Middleton is, ready to pull the trigger, and the defense is going to have to do better. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. Right here's a classic NBA question. Who's been the best franchise in league history? Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin. You are putting me on the spot. But I'd go with the Lakers. More superstars over the years. I think that 2000s run with Kobe and company, that put them ahead in my estimation. That misses, so he splits the free throws. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. They're the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak they had back from 1980 to 91. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Clock. Out to the right wing. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Nineteen seconds left in the third quarter of the game. And Jared Vanderbilt gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. But substitution. Poked loose. And so the ball's out of bounds. Vanderbilt touched it last. Out of bounds. But ball. We've got 13 seconds left in the third quarter. Down low. Poked away. It's stolen by Davis. And the rejection by Giannis. Anthony Davis finally on all cylinders for Los Angeles. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter. Sure, but more pressure packed basketball. It's stolen by Davis to the middle. He's looking for James and finds him. That's in there. Davis with the assist. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Los Angeles. I like their defense tonight. And we don't talk about that side of the ball enough. You can really change a game when you get a bunch of steals and get out in transition. Here's Krogic. This is why Davis is considered one of the best defenders in the league. His mere presence is good enough to alter those shots. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. He just, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. Rick Lopez hits them both. Just remarkable as the game has evolved. So has Brooke Lopez. You have that reliable three-point shooting ability that has become such a weapon of his. Power 
third down with both hands. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right, and that's severe punishment right there. And how about the sequence in its entirety? Momentum swing, and you love the effort here. And won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the ba the basket guy still shaking. Yeah, pretty simple right now for this offense to get the ball to AD and get out of his way. It's Trogic with the drive. And the wide open shot from Crowder. And another basket for Milwaukee. You know, not necessarily what you're looking for, but still able to convert. Here's James. And the Brian throws it down. And making it look easy. LeBron overwhelms the defense inside. Crowder the screen. A three. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you all. James and his court awareness is just so extra special. So whenever a guy has a clean look, they're going to get the ball. Timeout called the Bucks. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrich. Thanks, Kevin. Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team during the break. He said, we've got to pick it up right here, right now. If we're going to win this game, we have to take control. This is the time. Kevin. Thank you, David. Here's Hansa Takumbo. The shot misses. Free tee that time from Davis. LeBron James on the wing. Taken away by Holiday. Shots good by Middleton. Middleton. Middleton's got four points this quarter. Uh, Chris Middleton has been waiting for moments like that. Pass to Davis. They get a hand on it. Taken away by Holiday. Two minutes remaining in his ball. Here's Connaughton. Here's onto Takumbo. To the inside. Lopez. Off target at the rim. And wrestling for it there, but no one has position. We'll have a jump ball. Pass to Davis. And the foul on Drew Howard. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. And the tally just keeps going up for LeBron James and his career scoring total. Another night. Third all-time now, along with Carl Malone, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Gets the first, and that brings them within five. How is it that Giannis always seems fired up? I mean, this guy has a true enthusiasm for the game and for competition. He just delivers night in and night out. That's what makes him a star. And both free throws, good for Giannis. And great work at the line there to chip away at the lead. A few more productive trips here, and things could really get interesting. Driving in. Taken away by Holiday. And now the fast break. Middleton with the ball. Now Chris Middleton showing a lot of poise and taking over a very critical possession for his team. Out left of the wing. Pass to James.
And here is Hatchimura. And there's the call on James. That's his first foul. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that. That is world class. I'm seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. Stolen by Allen. And to Takumbo. It's good. Giannis Antetokounmpo is a star in this league, and more and more the team trusts him in those moments. And Hachimura ready to deliver for his team. Here's Giannis. It counts. Big time shot from young Giannis there. He feels more and more comfortable in these big moments. And that's an intentional foul. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. And a bid with impressive accuracy. Lopez might not be the soft target they were looking for here. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a three-point game. That last one was a difference maker. It pushed it from a two-point lead to three. Reeves can't hit. And now they foul and stop the clock. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. He drops the first one and then gives them a four-point cushion. Well, I love that Giannis is sticking to his method for free throws. Obviously, he's changed that a little bit, but his confidence remains hot. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Can't waste any time here. Well, it's probably a little bit too late here, but you really need to score a bucket here to stay alive. And how many times have we seen this? LeBron at the line in a big moment. If he hits all of those, they're feeling a lot more comfortable. But now, still a one-possession game. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. You know, he's not used to these kind of moments because other guys tend to have the ball in their hands, but it does not mean that Brooke Lopez can't step to the line and deliver. As soon as Davis receives the ball, you just know he's going to take it at the D, and the basket there was big. They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. In the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. And the second of two is good. That gives them a four-point cushion. Eight seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And now we've got the intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. And LeBron James, for all the things that he does on the floor in terms of his skill set, there's a quality of leadership that becomes the X factor and gives teams confidence that they're going to have a chance to win an NBA title. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. Those free throws are the nail in the coffin, guys. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession.